Hello and welcome to my channel in this video. Today I'm going to discuss about a very interesting disease that is Oscar Scalter's disease. So in this video basically I will talk about the homeopathic medicines which has been used for the treatment of Oscar Scalter's disease. So if you are suffering from Oscar Scalter's disease this video is definitely for you so watch this video till end for more knowledge and stay connected with us for more informative videos like this so let's talk about it so first of all i would like to explain what exactly is the meaning of oscott scalter's disease so let's talk about it so Oscott Scalter's disease is a common cause of knee pain in the growing children and young teenagers. It is characterized by inflammation in the area just below the knee. This area is where the tendon from the kneecap attaches to the shin bone that is tibia and the condition most often develops during growth spurts. Now what happened during the growth spurts of adolescence, certain muscles and tendons grow quickly and not always at the same rate. With physical activity, differences in the size and strength of the quadricep muscle can put more stress on the growth plate near the top of the shin bone. The growth plate is weaker and more prone to injury than other part of the bone. And as a result, it can become irritated during physical stress and overuse and the irritation can result in painful lump below the kneecap and this is the main sign of Oscar Scalter's disease. An Oscar Scalter's disease is typically diagnosed in adolescent during the beginning of their growth spurts. And growth spurts usually start between ages of 8 and 13 for girls and between ages 10 to 15 for boys. Teenage athletes who play sports that involve jumping and running are, are more likely to develop Oscar Scalter's disease. I hope the meaning of Oscar Scalter's disease is, great, is clear to you people. Now next we'll talk about the clinical features. That is, what are the signs and symptoms of Oscott Scalter's disease? So, common symptoms of this disease include knee and the leg pain, swelling, tenderness, increased warmth under the knee and over the shin bone, that is tibia, and pain that get worse with exercise or high impact activities such as running and limping after physical activity. And the severity of these symptoms often varies from person to person. Some individuals experience only mild pain during certain activities and others experience constant pain activity. And the discomfort can last from a week to several years. And the symptoms typically go away once the growth, once the growth spurt of the adolescence is finished. So this was all about the clinical feature. Now we'll talk about risk factors. So who is at the risk for Oscar Scalter's disease? So let's talk about it. So Oscar Scalter's disease most commonly occur in children who participate in sports that involve running, jumping and twisting. And these include basketball, volleyball, soccer, long distance running and gymnastic figure skating. Okay, so these are some risk factors. And Oscar Scalter disease tend to affect boys more other than girls. Okay, so it is more prevalent in boys. The age at which the condition occur can vary by their gender because girls experience poverty earlier than boys. It usually develops in girls between ages of 11 and 12 and in boys in between ages of 13 and 14. So these are the risk factors. Now we'll talk about the complications. So what are the potential complications of Oscar Scalter's disease? So let's talk about the complications. So generally Oscar Scalter disease doesn't cause any long-term complication. But in rare cases, children with this disease may experience chronic pain or ongoing swelling. 
However, taking over the counter pain relieves and apply ice to the area can usually ease this discomfort. Applications, okay. Now we'll talk about the homeopathic treatment. So, what are the homeopathic medicines which can be used for the treatment of Oscott Scalter's disease? Now we'll talk about the homeopathic treatment. So, homeopathic medicines work well to help relieve the symptoms of Oscott Scalter's disease. The homeopathic medicines that are highly recommended in cases of this condition include that we will talk later on. So these medicines help relieve knee pain and since they are made of natural substances, they can be safely used without any side effects. Now first and the foremost medicine that you can see here on the screen is Calcarea Carbonica. So this homeopathic medicine is used for painful and weak knee in Oscott Scalter's disease. So let's talk about it. The knee pain may be stitching, drawing, stinging and tearing in nature and pain from the knee may extend down the toe in some cases. The knee also feel lame and in some cases what happens there is a sensation of dislocation of the knee is felt from intense pain. A crackling sound from the knee may appear on walking and the knee is also swollen and hot in many cases that needs calcarea car. Now the second medicine that is causticum. So this homeopathic medicine is indicated for managing the knee pain that arises after exertion in cases of Oscar Scalter's disease. It is attended with the sensation that the tendons of the knee are too short. The knee feels stiff upon walking and there is a crackling sensation in the knees while walking. A drawing feeling in the knee may extend down the feet. Our next homeopathic medicine is Cilicia. Cilicia is a natural homeopathic medicine for the Oscott Scalter's disease where there is a knee pain with swelling in the knee. The swelling is very intense over the knee and the pain in the name and the pain in the knee may be tearing or stitching in nature. The knee is painful to pressure and there is a sensation as if the knee is very tightly bounded. Next homeopathic medicine is Dostox. Rostox is a very wonderful homeopathic medicine where the knee pain is accompanied with the tensed and tight feeling in the knee joint. The knee is also swollen and stiff with pain. A burning sensation in the knee joint is present. Standing worsens in the knee pain and great heaviness is felt in the knee. And overstanding the knee worsens the complaint in most cases. Now, our next homeopathic medicine is Brynia Alba. So, Brynia is a very excellent homeopathic medicine for the knee pain that worsens from motion in Oscar Scalter's disease. Let's talk about it. Brynia helps to treat the knee pain that worsens from motion and keeping the knee at rest relieves the knee pain and it is usually painful to touch and may be swollen. swollen. The knee pain also feels stiff. Also with this pain in the tibia or the shin bone appears that is mainly of a tearing nature. Now our next and our last but not the least homeopathic medicine that is Calcarea Foss. So Calcarea Foss is an effective homeopathic medicine to treat Oscott Scalter's disease when the pain in the knee gets worsens during the night time. It is also indicated in the cases of Oscar Scalter disease when knee pain is aggravated from stretching the legs. In some instances, walking worsens the knee pain and the knee feel as if it is sprained while walking. So these are some homeopathic medicines which can be used for the treatment of Oscar Scalter's disease. So that's all. That's all for today. See you guys in our next video. Till then stay connected with us for more videos like this. Don't forget to subscribe and comment below and yes, press the bell icon for more updates. Stay safe and stay healthy. And if you are suffering from Oscar Scalter disease or any other health illnesses, so you can contact us for online appointments. On the screen you can see how you can contact us for online consultation. 
So that's it for now. And thanks for watching this video.